So um, with Civil 3D, I've kind of have, have this typical section already built from my typical section from my TIFF. So with a boulevard with a depressed median with two lanes, um, a green space and a sidewalk. So I'm just gonna close that real quick and jump right back to here. So from that, if I zoom in, <clears throat> one of the things that we looked at earlier was this pipe network. Again, we're talking about connected workflows. If I jump to my pipe network, we can see that this pipe network can be utilized in storm and sanitary analysis or hydroflow. So when I pick on that junction and I right click and select start a profile plot, we can see that it's brought that pipe network in and it's dumping into my pond. And if I double pick on it, it's a pipe. And we have different hydrology methods that we can utilize in reference to SCSTR20, TR55, EPA swim, XP swim, also rational, um, modify rational, and then HEC1. Okay, so a lot of flexibility in terms of <clears throat> Again, everything that I'm utilizing, Civil 3D is the vertical application that works with everything. So, and then I'll just go ahead and close this. I got a lot of applications open. We also have the ability, and again, I just got my pond there to see, to kind of show you how data can be moved into Civil 3D in terms of a surface. So, right now, I just have a drawing here. So what I wanna be able to do on my insert tab, and one of the other things that we wanna be aware of in terms of working with Civil 3D is this idea on the home tab for surfaces, we can bring in GIS data from the shapefile. And then also from, I'm gonna open up my storm and sanitary analysis again real quick. Um, if I go file import, there is also a GIS import that you can bring in from Esri in terms of pipes that you can push straight into Civil 3D. So all that aggregate, um, aggregated data and attributed data that you get from Esri, you can bring straight into storm and sanitary analysis, push it straight into Civil 3D as a pipe network. Okay. And we're just moving along here. So on the output tab, we also have the ability to export to HECRAS. So we definitely wanna keep that in mind. So we talked about HECRAS and being able to push data. So flood planes, flood mapping, um, cross-sectional data, um, bridge scour, we can do all of that in terms of creating cross-sectional data with Civil 3D and a model from the surface with Civil 3D into HECRAS. Okay, so back to InfoWorks. On my insert tab, here's my land XML, and here's my storm file from Hydroflow, storm source. And then we have this InfoWorks. We also have an InfoWorks tab where we can launch InfoWorks or we can open up a model. And if we go back to insert, you can see here's that open up InfoWorks model. From that, Again, InfoWorks has to be closed in reference to us bringing in that model. It prompts us for where our model is. And then from our connected workflows, which is that InfoWorks model that we just had, I'm gonna open that up. And what it looks for initially is the coordinate system to tie into Civil 3D and InfoWorks. So as you can see, um, lat long 84 um, for state plains where you can Arkansas 84 north okay so and then I can specify an area of interest or I can use the whole extent so if I specify an area of interest I can select the area and it says do you want online mapping so clearly this drawing has a coordinate system tied to it so I'm just going to select yes just to get a feel for where I'm at 
and it shows me by online mapping. So if I zoom in, I can just snap to this endpoint and this endpoint in terms of extents, even though I'm only going up to this point here. So I'm going to select that. So it reads from the model. And if I count it correctly, we'll see how many um, roads that I can quickly bring in. And if I have an intersection, it'll bring in that intersection from InfoWorks. If I have a bridge model, it'll bring in that bridge from InfoWorks. And then that data could be pushed into Revit or from Civil 3D into Revit. So we're going to open up our InfoWorks model. And clearly this takes a second. And I am going to go ahead and close this. So here's our, it's read from the model. It's got my coordinate system. It has my sectional um, area in terms of interest. And then I can refine what data I want brought in. So what it does is it grabs the existing ground and the proposed road from, from the InfraWorks model. And then it grabs all the roads. And if I look at it, if I scroll down, it grabs the roads with names and then also pipes and structures. So those pipes and structures from InfraWorks into Civil 3D, ah, uh, so, and then design roads in terms of what is brought in. And then there's a couple intersections that it created. And then there was no roundabout. I'm not gonna worry about um, water area. And then it did bring in a bridge. So, um, we're gonna deselect water area. And then West Venus, let's see. We're not gonna bring in all of these. And specifically, I can bring in named roads and ones that I create on the fly. So we're not going to bring in them all. So that's all west. And for all intents and purposes, um, we want to bring in that one. And I think we're going to be there after these so west south north and we can bring in so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select okay and then i'm going to select open model and then it says it's going to bring in 348 entities from alignments to coverage areas to surfaces to bridges to intersections and i didn't have a roundabout in there so clearly you can see that it's brought in that data in terms of that concept plan that I utilize from InfoWorks. So we're going to cut this off real quick. And I'm going to select map off. And then you can see it's brought in my topo. So we'll look at that topo. And we'll look at that topo. And you can see it's brought in those two ponds from that topo. It's brought in a coverage area. So just some really quick things you want to be able to bring in and then our alignment for our road. So the beauty of that, you know, being able to bring that in, um, also it's brought in a bridge and intersection up there. So this bridge, if I look at it, I'll right click and go to object viewer. This is an actual bridge that it created in InfoWorks that brought it into Civil 3D. Same thing with intersections, it's gonna bring in my alignment data and alignments, and then it's brought in my surface, and then it's brought in my pipes from InfoWorks.